Okay, here's the grand finale. We're going to determine all of the eigenvalues and all but one of the eigenvectors of this matrix. I think you can do it yourself. Maybe it's a good time to pause the video and take a crack at it yourself. I think you'll be able to do it. It's all right in front of you. But let me do it independently. Of course, the first one that jumps out at me is 6 from eigenvalue feature number 1. The corresponding eigenvector, because everything's happening in column 3, being 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, another one is 9 by the very same feature, and the corresponding eigenvector is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Of course, the next thing you would check, having watched these videos, is whether every row adds up to the same number. And it does. I made sure of it. Every row now adds up to 11. I had to double check. So why don't you make sure for yourself that every row adds up to 11, which means that 11 is an eigenvalue, and a vector of all ones is the corresponding eigenvector. This was our eigenvalue feature number two. Now we only need one more. Once we have one more, the trace will tell us the remaining one. Can you see one more? Well, I put it in the first two columns. I made the first two columns literally dependent. The second column is three times the first column. The second column is three times the first column, which means that this matrix is singular. Its columns are linearly dependent, which means that zero is an eigenvalue, and the corresponding eigenvector comes from the null space. And it is three, negative one, zero, zero, zero. Now we only have one left, and my favorite feature, the trace, will tell us what it is. Now these add up to 26. Now let's see what the trace is. 0, 11. The trace is 11, which means, so the sum is 26, the trace is 11, which means that the remaining one is negative 15. And there we go. We were able to calculate all of the eigenvalues, all but one of the eigenvectors. It's kind of magical. I still can't shake the feeling that it's magical, that minus 15, subtracting minus 15 from the diagonal, is guaranteed to leave a singular matrix. It's kind of amazing. Maybe a great exercise for you to actually determine what the corresponding eigenvector is. If I were you, I would cheat and use Wolfram Alpha, but that's just me. All right, so we were able to, for a humongous matrix, as far as seeing a matrix on a test is concerned, for a humongous matrix, just by looking at it, and understanding matrix multiplication, and having gained all of this insight into eigenvalues and the special features that give away the eigenvalues, we were able to see four eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors, and the fifth eigenvalue as well. All right, this wraps up this little mini-series, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.